It was just a few days after that big blizzard. That was last Saturday, and this is Tuesday. And as you can see, a lot of the snow is gone. Not really sure whose home this is. It's a summer seasonal residence. It was a, a local family, but uh, they no longer exist, I guess, and it's been bought by somebody who comes here seasonally. But anyway, it gives you an idea of how the, the snow is vanishing. This morning it was raining. It rained part of the night last night, and we're up now to about plus five degrees. I'm just out for a walk, um, going down to the the dock in the village, Wilson's Beach, where I live. It's about three quarters of an hour or so walk from my house, so I'll give you a little look of the the boats and whatever's happening around the dock. New tripod, hand holding this in the wind. But, oops. So I know I'm not going to do very good at it. This is called Curry's Cove. And a lot of ducks in there right now. I see some mallards and black ducks and I think that one rather white one in the middle is probably an eider. Anyway, I'm sure the wind is raising havoc so I'll shut this off. It was a windy day so please excuse all of the uh, wind noise on the video. This particular section had so much wind noise I'm doing a voiceover. What we're looking at is a poster that's put up by the Department of Fisheries letting people know that the shellfish in the area are contaminated. We never used to see this in winter. It was a summer thing when the red tide algae would bloom, uh, which is a normal thing, not pollution. My question is, is now that we're seeing it in winter, is it possibly due to the uh, salmon farming industry around here. I wouldn't eat the farm salmon. It's toxic waste as far as I'm concerned. And I'm wondering if it's also destroying the uh, shellfish industry. Anyway, we didn't used to see these in winter, and here they are posted. You can't dig clams or harvest any shellfish along the shore in, in the winter months. Once again, lots of wind. That's the dock that I come down to walk out on. Not very many boats. I guess really I only see two. But there are several vehicles parked on the dock, which probably means some of the other boats are, are out. I'm not quite sure what fishery would be still operating this time of year. I, think, I know sea urchins would be, and possibly scallops. But anyway, there are probably three or four boats missing. It isn't a dock that's used a lot anymore. There are a couple of other docks that are in better condition and more sheltered. And over here, in this end of it, what used to be a fish plant and a nice store, a nice uh, multi-purpose store, everything from fishing gear to groceries and whatever. But went into business a number of years ago and every year now a little more of it falls into the dock I guess it's slowly disappearing why they don't just tear it down and get rid of it I don't know it's beyond repair anyway I'll walk out on the dock and might find a, something else out there to end the video once again too much wind noise in this particular section so I'm doing a voiceover that's Eastport Maine across the bay the city where I was born not exactly a yesterday, but a few years back. And moving down, this is the shoreline of Dare Island, the closest of the Fundy Isles to us. Uh, Dare Island is the smallest of the three Fundy Isles. But currently, Dare Island and Campobello population is quite close in numbers. The latest census showed Campobello at a little over 900. And most of my lifetime, our population has been between 1,300 and 1,500. But there's very little employment here now, so a lot of the younger families have had to work, had to leave to find work. Graham and Anne, the larger of the three Fundy Isles, is on the other side of Campobello. It's about 15 kilometers offshore or so. Well, I guess the purpose of the little video has been to prove the old adage around here, if you don't like our weather, wait a minute. Uh, it's amazing the change in three or four days. And it's due, as I guess I said, to, 
to stay above freezing. It's just and the temperatures are even slightly above normal for this time of year for at least the next week or so. so I expect all the snow will be gone soon. Well, thank you for watching. I'll put this little clip up on YouTube.